Good morning and welcome to Good Day Dakota. I'm Josh Many. Thank you for waking up with us on this Wednesday morning. Bismarck native, Miss North Dakota 2017, Miss America 2018, and Harvard Law graduate Kara Mund has announced she is getting signatures in place to run for U.S. House as an independent. KX News is your local election headquarters and in her first broadcast interview since the announcement, I sat down with Munn to discuss the substance behind her campaign as we lead local. You announced on the 57th anniversary of the Voting Rights Act, 1965. Tell us, um, what's the significance of announcing on that anniversary? Yeah, I knew that from the beginning to the end of this election cycle, if I was going to run, I wanted it to be meaningful. And that's from the day that I announced till the day that I'm done. Um, and I know that I think I'm the first woman to run for this role. I've been asking numerous people and they haven't heard of another woman who's ran for it. A woman's never occupied this seat. And so it's that importance of really being a representative voice, but then also doing it in a way that is impactful and meaningful, especially coming as an independent. Is there any particular stance about the Republican Party or the Democratic Party that you just don't feel like is in touch with Americans? Mm -hmm. um, Part of the decision to run was based off the Dobbs decision. Um, I knew now more than ever women need to be represented. Um, I think we all have a right to privacy. And so that, that's one thing that's really impactful that both sides are very split on. But I think America is pretty central on the issue. So when you say central of Dobbs, you think most Americans, how so? Mm -hmm. I think we all want our right to privacy. Um, and, you know, I just graduated from Harvard Law School. We talk a lot about the importance of your right to privacy and also precedent. And, you know, you should have the, the right to choose. Um, but not just that, you should not have the government coming in your bedroom. They should not be in your doctor's appointments. They should not be telling you how to raise your children. Um, I just think it's, it was time that if we're going to overturn precedent that's 50 plus years old, we need to have more women in office and we need to have the female voice heard. Why did you decide to challenge Representative Armstrong? Um, it's not Representative Armstrong, just in general. Um, I'm, you know, I respect Representative Armstrong, uh, but I looked at his voting record and I don't think it aligns with North Dakotans. Um, voting against veterans, voting against the infant formula, um, voting against capping insulin, um, voting against the infrastructure bill. I mean, these are all things that are crucial to North Dakotans and I don't think our voice is being heard. A big issue lately uh, in the headlines is Fu Fang Group mm -hmm. purchasing farmland 12 miles from Granite Forks Air Force Base. So far, um, only Senator Kramer has really made a stand and said he's opposed to the project. Where do you stand? Are you in favor? Are you opposed? I'm opposed, and I think we should be concerned. Um, 12 miles away from the my, er, from the Grand Forks Air Force Base, where we have you know d drone technology, um, we have some of the top technology in the United States. It should be something that we're fearful of. This is the first location in the United States, and so it's interesting. They choose North Dakota. They choose close to a military base. They're receiving federal funds. Um, it's something that we should be concerned about, and that our representatives should even have their voices heard more. Anything else you'd like to say to the people of North Dakota? Um, no, I'm just, I guess I'm so proud to be a North Dakotan. And one thing that has just, it's been a quote that I've heard from when I was Miss America. I spoke out about the organization, and I think I would hold very similar values as a member of Congress, is that um, fight for your seat at the table, because if you're not at the table, you're on the menu. And I hope voters know that when they go to the polls on November 8th. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Garamond is related to Victoria Woodhull, who was a leader in the women's suffrage movement and the first woman to run for U.S. president. If elected, Mund would become North Dakota's first female representative in the U.S. House of Representatives.